Hi, I'm Dario and welcome back to Andy Puzzles. Today I am very excited to finally present you this new puzzle that I've designed. This is what I call the Infinity Loop, my first moving marbles puzzle. Unlike what you might be used to on the well-known Hungarian rings puzzle, the two circles on the Infinity Loop are not overlapping each other, but instead form one continuous loop that looks like the Infinity Symbol. This puzzle doesn't only look like it would take forever to solve, but also took me an infinity to build. Now here you can see my first CAD model. After I had made some rough sketches of how my puzzle was supposed to look like later on, I went into Onshape and modeled it. Unfortunately, the first design had a small but deadly mistake. Thinking of only one ball, you might not see a problem in having a flat loop like this, but if you fill the whole loop with balls, they will block each other at the cross section. One day of work wasted. I was exhausted and frustrated, but I really liked the idea, so I got back to it only one day later, sketching another version that now has a three-dimensional loop with a kind of tunnel and bridge system. Being satisfied with the design, I started to print some first pieces. These are not actually parts for the final puzzle, but gauges that I designed in order to find the perfect size for the pipes. I tested several diameters as well as angles to find out what would work best for the balls I bought. As you can see, I found a pretty good size that makes the ball run smoothly through the loop. Next, I tried to figure out the height that was necessary to hold the boards while still making them accessible for the user. This example shows how a ring that is closed too much causes unnecessary friction and makes it almost impossible for me to move the ball comfortably without pressing my fingers into the plastic piece. Last of all, I figured out the right number of balls that would completely fill the loop. Having collected enough data, I could then finally start to print the puzzle. The print itself took more than 24 hours and filled my build plate several times, but at least the puzzle only took very little post-processing, which speeded up things a lot. At this point, I had already spent three whole weeks on the infinity loop. All that was left to do was to spray paint it. I chose silver paint in addition to the usual black color I use for most parts. That should give the puzzle nice contrast. After I had finished all pieces, I started to also color this name sign I put on top of the puzzle. Black on black, it just didn't look as good as I had imagined. So I got the same silver paint I had already used for the gear and started to carefully color the letters using one of these cotton swabs, which turned out to be the easiest way to just mark the letters without coloring the rest of the puzzle in silver as well. In the end, I had to add more than one coat of paint, but after that I was really satisfied with the result. So I started to assemble the puzzle. It is designed in modules to make the print and assembly easier. After I had added the loops to the top frame, it was ball time. I could make a whole video about the journey I went through until I finally got these balls. But to make it short, I've tried to get colored balls for more than two months. Eventually, I found these 12mm ones, 
that were already colored and needed no dyeing. They are not perfect but the best I could get. I just had to remove some sprue leftovers with a knife but then I was finally able to fill the puzzle with boards. Once the 34 boards were held in place, I carefully mounted that structure onto the bottom half of the frame, fixed it with four screws and added the silver gear style turning wheel. And here we go, the infinity loop is finished. What you just saw in 5 minutes took me almost a month in total, but I'm really happy that I went through all the struggles this puzzle provided me with and finished it. I am really proud of the end result and see this as the entry point into a whole new type of puzzles. I really enjoyed building this puzzle and hope that you also liked it. If that's the case, please consider sharing this video around so that more people can see this creation. Although it took me an infinity to build this, I feel like it was totally worth it. What do you think? Would you like to see more puzzles like this? Let me know in the comments. I'm Dario and this is the Infinity Loop.